Welcome to the Blockchain Report. We discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we got more Certix Skynet quests on the table today. Um, we'll go, we got one boosted edition one, some Skynet rating, Web3 security, and I might just stick with the Skynet rating and knock these out in this video because we got quite a lot. And I'll, I'll do some separate videos. I'm trying to get these. Been a lot of stuff going on recently, family in town and uh, work ramping up. So I'm trying to get to, to all of these in a quick amount of time for everyone because I know everyone's been hot for these but before we get started this might be a little bit longer video before we get started thank you so much for joining please like subscribe comment share this out to anyone you think would be interested in blockchain technology all the fun stuff we get to learn and cool rewards we earn along the way I don't know if Certic is going to actually launch a token I've had people say that they've asked in the discord and they said that they're not going to do an airdrop but I've heard projects say that in the past and even if if they they don't do one you still get to learn a lot of stuff and you just never know they might do some incentive program or reward re rewards based program but all we can do is just spend a little bit of our time it is free it doesn't cost anything so that's good so you know why not try it out and it's it's pretty simple so uh, if you ever need any help have any questions or comments with any of the quests or campaigns or have any video recommendations jump in the discord link is in the description below we have an amazing discord that we're growing pretty pretty quick launch it at the end of last year uh we got a lot of a lot of up updates and stuff that have been made over the past few months and we got a pretty awesome breakdown you know generals chat we got links and referrals and airdrop wins we got signals pages and economic news active test nets and this is where this is amazing because we have links to different test nets active test nets and thank you Aprosopos for all your help and Rob. Love you guys. Working on the main nets, project news, main net bridges. We got test nets page. We got our whole blockchain adventure. So different quest projects and a whole test nets page. And in here we have, if you've been doing the CVEX achievements, we have way more achievements that have been unlocked. We have a threads page with known CVEX achievements that have been unlocked. So check those out. Amazing, amazing. Thank you to everyone showing their support. And uh I appreciate you all. <laughs> to the newbies in here, thank you for joining. And I appreciate you all so much. And we will do our best to give you the best information. And let's see. All right, we'll do this and then jump into the Skynet ratings. So evaluating security with Skynet token scan. Go through the security verification. All right, so a little intro to the Skynet token scan is a tool developed by Certic that helps users evaluate the security of associated risks of crypto. So it takes the token and you can scan the contract. So there's only availability for Solana, but Ethereum and Binance tokens will be available soon. So how does it work? It examines a smart contract code, looking for risks, basically any vulnerabilities that could cause your assets to be at risk. So it's important because if you go buy a token and it's a scam and can easily be rug pulled or whatever the case may be, it's good to know. <clears throat> so what does it primarily analyze? Smart contract code. What type of tokens does Skynet token currently support? Solana. And what does the report categorize findings by security level? So start using it and we got a cooldown period. So let's look at Pepe. So this is the breakdown, pretty cool. Great job. So continue since this is the next one in line. So connecting Discord, actually we don't, we could just like skip this. Yeah, connect your Discord, do all that and skip through this. I don't think I did that, okay. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. So we'll link our socials later. Connect your Telegram and link your socials. So we're just gonna jump into Skynet Pulse. That way we can knock these out. Remember you have to be a level five in order to complete, verify that you are a human. So intro to Skynet Pulse. It delivers real-time news and updates about leading Web3 projects featured on Skynet. You can explore the interface. I saw this earlier, it was pretty cool. I think it's, it's somewhere over here. I don't see it up here. You can, if you're interested in finding out more news, you can add that to your bookmarks. So you get the latest. So how can users access the Skynet Pulse feature? Oh yeah, why is it a heart though? Oh, I guess pulse, yeah. What information is provided next to each pulse notification? Oh, the, their score, security score and link. Ooh, that wasn't good. Okay, so next up, proof of work versus proof of stake. 
verify that you are a human. Now, proof of work is where miners use computers basically to validate transactions on the blockchain, like Bitcoin mining. Proof of work is rewarded when you when you basically stake your crypto. Proof of stake. Yeah. So where you take your tokens, lock them up in a smart contract that allows you to validate transactions on the network and you get rewarded for that. So these are some benefits of proof of work. Can it extremely difficult for a potential attacker to control enough of the blockchain to make fraudulent transactions. Proof of stake, it's a little bit easier. You can dive into more of that. So proof of stake also creates significantly less e-waste. The so Bitcoin uses proof of work and Ethereum um oh that's what i thought it would be oh proof of stake sorry i'm getting these backwards so proof of work what advantages okay high bar of entry making it hard for attackers to manipulate i don't think i think that was worded a little weird okay we'll move on to the next one so if you have level 10 you can participate in these ones which you should be there by now so operational security via website scan so website scan conducts inter, uh, regular intervals, involves comprehensive evaluations of official websites associated with Web3 projects. Because this is important because a lot of scammers will make fake websites. And if that's not the real website, you can see if it's the real website or not. So, and being open and transparent, and if the project is a scam or not, or not really telling the whole truth, so they look at network security, DNS health, uh, domain name system, application security, and end user, yada, yada. What does it mean to project teams? You can dive into more of this stuff. They give you security score. So what are the primary categories of, web, of website scan? Network security, DNS health, and application security. Negative scan results could suggest a project's lack of attention to security. True. Further assessment and improvement of website security can be achieved through, oh, penetration testing. Wow. I'd hate to be on the receiving end of that one. So next up, GitHub, monitoring for better code security. I don't know how many of you use GitHub or have used it in the past, but I've seen some projects give airdrops to people who contribute on GitHub. So I guess they also monitor GitHub commits, repository ages, heat maps, how active developers were in certain months. They have GitHub stars. They find interesting or useful repositories. So this is all just giving you indicators to show that these developers are legitimate and aren't going to scam you with, with stuff. So which of the following factors are considered by the GitHub impact indicator? All of the above. If a project has a long existing GitHub account age eight years or more, that means the project is secure and actively maintained. False. Good looking active activity heat map means improved code security. False introducing new code may also introduce bugs and vulnerabilities. Good job, mate. Next up, governance activity monitoring, because we all love governance. Governance, yeah, governance. So this analyzes project governance proposals, voting history, and proposal statistics to generate the activity. Proposal activity shows the number of proposals submitted and successful proposals approved. And the number of proposals in the last 30 days, the governance activity indicator on how successful that these proposals were, why, how it's important to users. This is all pretty interesting stuff because you do need things to analyze all the data and information that come with uh, these new features in Web3. So which of the statements best describes the governance indicator mentioned? Uh, I want to read through all this. <laughs> it reflects the level of governance activity in comparison to other Web3 projects by aggregating various signals. Projects with low governance activity indicators suggest lower risk compared to higher ones. False. Which of the following values is not conveyed by governance activity? Projects financial performance. Great job. So insights on token holder analysis. So this provides metrics into token holder count, whale wallet movement tracking, top holders, a holding percentage, and project owner holding percentage. The whale movement indicator, the so it's defined as holders with a balance of at least 1% of the token supply. And then top 10 holders percentage metrics, 
largest balance, burn addresses, creators, owners, project owners percentage, token holder growth, all interesting metrics to, to track and analyze. So governance related metrics such as token holder changes won't impact Skynet security rating. Yeah, true, because if you have one person that owns 50% of the supply, they could, that, that's a security risk. So which of the following metrics is not included in Skynet token holder and analytics section? Total value locked. So which of the factors might indicate a potential centralization risk of the project? High percentage on project owner holding. Sweet. All right, security rating for pre-launch projects. These are for projects gearing up for listing or launch. Yeah, projects without a token, depending on their progress, they may have already experienced significant events like fundraising or security audits. They got a pre-launch rating, code security, fundamental health, community trust, and operational resilience. Yeah, and some other pre-launch stages, the definitions of the stages, security readiness, community analysis, fundamental strength, and operational uh, maturity. Pre-launch leaderboard and the spotlight show highlight projects. So what is not included in the pre-launch trading or project rating? Market stability. Which of the stages represents the phase nearing a new market launch? Two. Which of the following factors might boost the project's pre-launch stage status to closer to a new launch? All of the above. For sure, for sure. A show, for show. Last up, let's get it. RWA security and leaderboard, real world assets. This is gonna be a big thing. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be so huge. The real world assets taking stuff from the real world and putting it on chain. The bonds, real estate, and other financial instruments. And the importance of security. So you can prevent theft and auditing stuff. Smart contract audits. It's going to be great. So heightened compliance measures, secure custody solutions, and they have a leaderboard. So what is a critical step in ensuring the security of tokenized real world assets? Conducting regular smart contract audits. True or false, compliance with AML and KYC regulations is unnecessary. False. Okay, dokie. So that is completed there. If you want to do your socials, you can come here and link them, connect them here, do the telegrams and all that stuff. But I hope this was helpful. I'm going to do this and get up on out of here, but I appreciate you all so much. Thank you. And remember, jump in the Discord. We got a lot of cool stuff going on, a lot of big things coming down, and we're just gear gearing up, getting ready for this amazing bull run. So if you want that life-changing financial independence, let's get it. Join us. Be a part of uh, our journey. But with that, this is the Blockchain Report. Have a wonderful day, homies. Peace.